The Western Black Rhinoceros, the Elephant Bird, the Stellar's Sea Cow, and the Passenger Pigeon. All of these species have one thing in common, extinction because of human activity. And like many other species, if it weren't for conservation efforts, the brown pelican would have shared a spot on that list. Let's take a look at the brown pelican's story and explain how they nearly disappeared from North America and are still threatened to this day. DDT and Endrin, two chlorinated pesticides used after World War II to combat insect-borne diseases and to control insect populations, are known for their adverse environmental effects. When it comes to brown pelicans, they nearly disappeared from North America between the late 1950s and early 1970s because of pesticides entering the food chain. Endrin killed pelicans outright, while DDT contamination led to thin-shelled eggs that broke under the weight of the parents. In 1970, brown pelicans were federally listed as endangered. The plight of pelicans and other species led to a ban on DDT in 1972 and a reduction in endrin use, allowing pelican numbers to rise. By 1985, numbers along the Atlantic and Eastern Gulf Coasts had received enough to delist those populations. Although the brown pelican is Louisiana's state bird, they had to be reintroduced to the state in a program that lasted from 1968 to 1980. After large declines, brown pelican populations have stabilized thanks to conservation efforts, and populations slowly increased between 1966 and 2015, according to the North American Bird Breeding Survey. The water bird conservation for the Americas estimates around 191,650 breeding birds on the continent, and lists the species as a species of moderate concern. The species rates a 10 out of 20 on the Continental Concern score, and are not on the 2016 State of North America's Birds watch list. The species reached pre-pesticide numbers by the late 1990s, and was fully delisted in 2009, less than a year before the Deepwater Horizon oil spill threatened Gulf Coast populations anew. Their populations continued their overall strong increases since the 1960s, though pelicans still face human-caused threats. Since they breed, roost, and forage near shipping canals, they are highly susceptible to oil spills. Disturbance from human activity in their coastal nesting habitats can cause problems as panicked pelicans often abandon or accidentally destroy their nests. Hunting was a major cause of death in the early 20th century, and people still hunt adults and collect eggs on Latin American and Caribbean coasts, and occasionally in the United States though these birds are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. Abandoned fishing line also threatens the species along with many marine animals. It has been estimated that more than 700 adult and immature pelicans die each year in Florida alone from entanglement in sport fishing gear. Well there you have it everyone, that's the story of the brown pelican. I hope this video reminds you of the impacts we have on the environment and the species that call it home. Whether it be avoiding littering, leaving wildlife alone, or just understanding our actions have consequences, we all must do our part. But as always, I hope you still find yourself enjoying the video and learning something new. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all in the next video.